Hello, it's European Coffee Trip. And we are Dublin, Ireland. Let's join our trip. Dublin, the capital of Ireland with over 500,000 people living in the city. It is home of Guinness, Irish coffee and nice coffee people. We spent four days with them. It is also home of Marco, water boilers and coffee brewers producer. We got invited to see the factory, spent an afternoon with Cajal and we saw the showroom and the assembly line where all IB boilers and SP9s are produced. Now it's time for coffee. Inside of Wigwam there is a Wise Coffee Inc. It is the same location where Colin Harmon opened the first free FE several years ago. Tom Stafford took over and opened Wise Coffee Inc. Coffee comes from local 3FE, London Square Mile and Bath Round Hill. Now we are excited, we are waiting for Irish coffee. You should try Irish coffee. They serve the best Irish coffee in the country, chosen at last Dublin Whiskey Festival. Roasted Brown, a roastery and cafe run by Ferg Brown, is located in Temple Bar. It was a reconstruction time, so they had to move to the project's art center. It was no big deal, just a 5 minutes walk. We get to try sweet Kenyan espresso. It is a favorite coffee of a head barista, Rob. This coffee was one of the best coffees he ever tried. It was very good indeed. The family. Great food, great coffee, great people. We could easily sit here all day long, starting with breakfast and ending with the afternoon snack. We met our dear friend Rachel Wynn, who makes coffee here together with Jer O'Donohoe. Together they also share the barista skills at First Rough Coffee. You should check their blog too. Hey, Standard Magazine. Coffee comes from Free FE, but also from the barn, Berlin. We are just leaving the family and we are going to Free FE. Everybody knows 3FE and its owner Colin Harmon. Their cafe at Great Canal Street is a showcase for all the products that Colin helped to develop. Mitos Grinder and Black Eagle Espresso Machine. All dressed in team colors, red and white. Education was the theme of the visit. With Colin we got to try water tasting. This is the water, this is the bottled water. Next, on the special menu you can choose also a nano cupping, a minimalistic version of regular cupping that often happen in the roastery. Hey, we just left 3FE. We had a talk with uh, Colin Harman and we get these lovely coffees. The head barista said it is a coffee from another world, so we're gonna try. Coffee Angel. They served first cup of coffee in 2004 and now has five locations around Dublin. We visited the newest one next to the Trinity College. Interesting fact, it was the very first cafe that implemented its SP9 on the coffee bar. It's raining! But we are here in La Supreme Coffee. Let's come in. Beautifully designed cafe. After the morning cappuccino, we try to pour over with Ethiopian QTT, red apple, cranberry and walnut. Just before Christmas, they brought a great selection of artisan chocolates to their customers. That one is from Vietnam, they're doing the same thing as the Madagascan guys, so they, they are growing the, the cacao beans themselves. Living Love Supreme Coffee and we're going to Full Circle Coffee Roasters. Hey! Let's go! In Full Circle we met the owner Brian Birdie. What does yeah. it mean a full circle? Full circle. Well for me my philosophy is you know you ask one question you get um, ten more. So when the answer comes, you know, you want to explore more. Currently we're roasting, every time we learn something new, we got more questions. So constant learning, always going to full circle, looking to explore journey so that's what that means, I think. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks for all your coffees, Brian. Lovely. For the first time they have a brunch and we were part of it. Even though we try only flat whites. <laughs> That's it. Our trip is over. Thank you, Dublin.
we will be back for World of Coffee. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website.